Some really groundbreaking stuff for the conference um, earlier during the Mid-American Conference Tournament. You, you, you announced a partnership, uh, both a data partnership and a sponsorship deal uh, with Genius Sports. Take us through what that is. And again, it's the Mid-American Conference is the first conference in the country, so ahead of the curve, um, to have such a deal. Why is it important? What does it entail? Well, two parts to it. First, a sponsorship partnership, and that's that's straightforward enough. The typical kind of things you do in those in those partnerships and with any corporate partner. And this is really goes back over a year where I went in and visited with our presidents and raised the issue of could we as a conference uh, begin looking at at wagering entities uh, to to have partnerships with, as we've seen other uh, institutions around the country uh, have various partnerships with casinos or sports wagering entities. Those have occurred. And so we went down that path and that was a long conversation. That wasn't one meeting. That was a series of meetings. And ultimately they said, yes, you can. Then as we got into it, uh, we zeroed in, ended up talking to Genius Sports, which isn't a sports wagering entity. They are really a, a data aggregation, data collection group that then takes data and sells it to various parties, some of which are in the sports wagering uh, landscape. And so the more we examined it, we th really think there's great value there. And when I talk about data, I'm talking about game statistics. Right now, sports wagering entities, for instance, capture our data without our permission uh, through third parties. They send someone to our games and collect the data themselves, take the stats themselves and transmit them back. Or they watch the telecast and do the same sorts of things. Well, in this case, we'll be able to, we'll in essence sell our statistics to those who want it. Uh, and we'll be able to, again, leverage that data uh, to generate revenue to better support our student athletes and uh, our institutions. And again, um, it's a single point um, uh, contact for the, the data. And there is also kind of an oversight and an, and an integrity piece to it as well, correct? There is. For some time, we've had a uh, outside integrity services provider that we've been working with. We will also start to begin to work with the integrity service providers from Genius Sports. And what these folks do is monitor um, every game we play. And they'll look at, for instance, uh, the the lines associated with games, and are there are there suspicious movements that occur at any point in time? And if there are, you look into it. Why did that occur? Is there some rationale behind it that's uh, legitimate? And and so that goes on. In addition, we will we've already have an educational program around wagering and sports wagering for our student athletes, coaches, and administrators we'll now build out an even more robust educational program uh, and will involve not only those, the student athletes, coaches, and administrators, but we'll also include our officials in that. And again, we'll put all of this together. And I guess what I would go back to saying is, I'm not doing this for the benefit of sports wagering entities. Those are groups that are taking our data now and which we really receive no benefit for. What we want to become, and I hope the states, because sports wagering has become legalized and it's virtually in all our states, we're the one FBS conference that right now sports wagering has been approved in all of our states. I think it's 2023 before we'll see it here in Ohio. Um, but it, it seems like we need to be involved in it. We need to be part of uh, the oversight of it, part of the educational uh, component around it. Um, and I think it makes sense that we leverage our data uh, to the betterment of our student athletes and our institutions. 